The lamp is not real. The house is not real. My wife, my kids, none of that is real. The last 10 years of my life are not f***ing real. These are the horrifying words from a Redditor posting a story about having an entire life experience while being unconscious. What does the story mean? Where did it come from? What are the deeper psychological implications? All of that will be attempted to be answered in this video. You probably heard this story from TikTok or Instagram Reels or something like that. The lamp story, or the creepypasta with the lamp, as it's been named, has been going absolutely viral. And since I go over internet horror and mysteries on this channel, I kind of wanted to dive into this creepypasta because I love psychological ones. And this is quite literally the definition of that. In this video, I'll be breaking it down, reading it, talking about the themes, and like I said, just overall trying to deduce what this means to the best of my ability. And if you're into that sort of thing, keep on watching. Let's start from the beginning. 11 years ago, in the comment section of r slash ask reddit, a surprising but unnerving post was made. The question of this Ask Reddit post was, have you ever felt a deep connection to a person that you've met in a dream? The comment, which included the lamp story, was made by an unknown throwaway account and is an allegedly true story that the OP experienced. Even though this creepypasta is old, it's actually just now gaining traction, which I find interesting, but I guess the internet is the internet and things never truly get lost. The post itself is actually pretty short and is only a few paragraphs in length, so I'll be reading that right now and then try to examine it and break it down after the reading. It goes as follows. Throw away account, because this is really personal. My last semester at a certain college, I was assaulted by a football player for walking where he was trying to drive. Note, he was 325 pounds and I was 120 pounds. While unconscious on the ground, I lived a different life. I met a wonderful young lady, she made my heart skip and my face red. I had pursued her for months and dispatched a few jerk boyfriends before I finally won her over. After two years, we got married and almost immediately she bore me a daughter. I had a great job and my wife didn't have to work outside of the house. When my daughter was two, my wife bore me a son. My son was the joy of my life. I would walk into his room every morning before I left for work and doted on him and my daughter. One day, while sitting on the couch, I noticed that the perspective of the lamp was odd, like inverted. It was still in 3D, but just wrong. It was a square lamp base, red with gold trim on four legs and a white square shade. I was transfixed. I couldn't look away from it. I stayed up all night staring at it. The next morning, I didn't go to work. Something was just not right about the lamp. I stopped eating. I left the couch only to use the bathroom at first. Soon I stopped that too, as I wasn't eating or drinking. I stared at that f***ing lamp for three days before my wife got really worried. She had someone come and try to talk to me, but by this time my cognizance was breaking up and my wife was freaking out. She took the kids to her mother's house just before I had my epiphany. The lamp is not real. The house is not real. My wife, my kids, none of that is real. The last 10 years of my life are not fucking real. The lamp started to grow wider and deeper. It was still inverted dimensions. It took up my entire perspective and all I could see was red. I heard voices and screams and all sorts of weird noises and I became aware of pain. A fucking ton of pain. The first words I said were, I'm missing teeth and opened my eyes. I was laying on my back on the sidewalk, surrounded by people that I did not know. Lots were freaking out. I was completely confused. At some point, a cop scooped me up, dragged and walked me across the sidewalk and grass and threw me face down into the back of a cop car. I was still confused. I was taken to the hospital by the cop, seems he didn't want to wait for the ambulance to arrive, and given CT scans and shit. I went through about three years of horrid depression. I was grieving the loss of my wife and children and dealing with the knowledge that they never existed. I was scared that I was going insane as I would cry myself to sleep, hoping I would see her in my dreams. I never have, but sometimes I do see my son. Usually just a glimpse out of my peripheral vision. He is perpetually five years old, and I can never hear what he says. Edit. 
24 hours after post. Never thought anyone would read this. I changed the lines so that it no longer seems that my two-year-old daughter bore a child. I have never seen Inception or the Star Trek episode so many have mentioned, but I will eventually. I will not do an AMA. I've had many PMs describing similar experiences, and three posters stating such experiences are impossible. I'd say more research needs to be done on brain functions. Pre-med students do not assume that you know everything. A few have asked if they can write a book or screenplay or stage play or rage comic, etc. Please consider this tale open source and have fun with it. That's the end. So the story was sadly written by a throwaway account, and because of this we'll never truly know who wrote it or what person, like why they wrote it, but all we know is that it's, it's horrifying. We can still pick apart a bunch of it though. At the end of the post, in the 24 hour edit section, OP says that they have never seen Inception or a specific Star Trek episode that people seem to be mentioning. And as far as I can find, this Star Trek episode that he's referring to is called The Inner Light which is the 125th episode of Star Trek Next Generation. And that follows a very trippy Inception or like dream within a dream plotline with Picard living decades of a life, but only actually being knocked out for 25 minutes. In this episode, Picard had children and grandchildren and people that he knew, but none of that was actually real. I find it interesting since the OP hadn't seen any media or anything like his experience, it's very strange that his brain would conjure up something like that. Typically, when our brains create things in dreams or in passing or in thoughts, it is all based on real events that we've witnessed in some capacity, at least vaguely. So OP would have had a very unique experience if he truly hadn't seen anything in media that was similar to his dream. At the bottom of the post, OP says that he's had DMs from people who have experienced similar things in similar ways which got me thinking, what is the true limit of our brain's strength? We do not use 100% of our brain while awake and moving around, so I wonder what percent of it was being used in the OP situation when he was having this fit of fake life. Was it 100%? Was it 4%? Was it 2%? How powerful are we, actually? Did he create an entire new reality in a different multiverse with his brain? Did he just remember a past life that he lived before this current one? Or did he manifest his future life? Why does the brain do the things that it does? I'm not a scientist or a psychologist, so I don't really know. But it's cool to think about. I also want to mention the sheer horror of how his delusion came to an end. Opie was just sitting in the couch of his house, living a great life with a beautiful wife and kids and a successful career. And out of nowhere, randomly, just the lamp became odd. A simple little thing, like a light source lamp, signaled that he wasn't in reality, that he was somewhere else. He said that it still looked 3D, but was just wrong in a way that he could not describe. He stayed up all night staring at it. It consumed him in a way. He stopped eating and drinking, and he watched it for three days straight. After this, it grew bigger and bigger and deeper until his entire facade of his life began to crumble. The lamp is not real, the house is not real, my wife and kids, none of that is real. The last 10 years of my fucking life are not real. Then the OP wakes up, bruised and beaten, back to the reality which he genuinely left just a few minutes ago. The implications are even bigger than having a crazy lucid dream or imagining things though. OP claims that in real life, he had severe depression for years after this incident. And this was because he missed his wife and children and the life that he lived in the delusion. So this truly just goes to show how genuine and how real it was to him. It wasn't even a dream. It was a reality. Obviously, this is a creepypasta and it's not actually a real story. But the sheer existential horror that it manages to convey is just truly astounding. It goes to show that the one thing we're supposed to be able to trust in our lives, our own brain, is also the one thing that can lie to us the most. How you answer those lies and how you respond is what really matters though. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this breakdown. Like if you did, it makes a brother smile. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. If you want more like this, I'd be glad to do it.